all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a google sheets dividend tracker as you can see at the top this is mine by my initials mk misu Karis dividend tracker um i had a video about how to make it on apple numbers um so if you have an apple mac then you can make your dividend tracker with that one but if you want to do both like i do this is the video to watch now if you don't have an apple computer this is a dividend tracker that you could follow along and create yourself doesn't take too long it takes honestly it took me a little bit but for you guys i'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and it's super super simple so if you have any questions, like I always say, just comment down below the questions. I answer every single question or comment that you guys put down below. Now, this is all free information, guys. There's You don't need to pay for anything like on Google Sheets. You don't need to pay for anything on Apple Numbers. I'm just showing you guys how to do it so that if you do have a portfolio in the future, you can start tracking if you are doing the dividend growth and strategy, how much you're getting paid out. And, you know, let's get to it, right? Keeping it very simple, first off, company name, uh, and then all the way across the board, we got you know ticker symbol, cost basis, market value, annual dividend, annual income, and then paid out. And then down below, we have the company names of what you own. In this case, this is what I own over here on the left, and I keep it simple with just having colors of gray and white and you can change it up to any color you like, but I just like to keep it nice and neutral. So I'm gonna show you guys all the formulas that you could use. And whenever you click on a formula, it shows it right above right here. Now, as you can see, before you type in any equation, you have to do equal Google Finance. Now, when you type in equals Google Finance, this is what takes information from the stock market and puts it into this chart so if I do obviously Google Finance and then put in parentheses B2 you come over here to B and that's 2 and then you do parentheses name parentheses and then it will have the actual company name pull up as far as shares there's nothing you have to put in other than amount of shares and then the same as average cost the market price right here you would need to go into Google Finance because it pulls it from the stock market and puts it into the chart and as you can see B2 right here B2 the ticker symbol and then parentheses price and then it'll give you the Apple hospitality re price from the stock market cost basis now we have the C2 times D2 and then guys when you see the formula up the top left uh, just look where I'm you know adding my thing so I can see C2 times D2 equals the cost basis which is how much I've spent into that stock over here you got the market value C2 right C2 times E2 is what it's actually worth in the market right now then gain or loss G2 minus F2 growth is h2 divided by f2 and then annual dividend you have to find it on dividend.com how much it is paying this is not auto filtered you have to manually do this part but obviously all this other stuff is manually inserted dividend yield you do j2 divided by e2 portfolio percentage which is i don't have this one in my apple numbers but i added it to my dividend tracker for google sheets and that's f2 divided by f26 annual income is then c2 times j2 and then obviously paid out and you just type in how much it pays out and it shows you on dividend.com usually below how much it pays the annual dividend it shows you when it pays so if it says monthly or quarterly or semi-annually now that we went over all the formulas i'm just going to go down here and just type it out for an example like we have the company name over here, right? And then let's look at the formula that it has. Equals Google, Google, <laughs> Google Finance at the bottom, click on that. And then you would do 
uh, let's see, B, come over to the left, B28, because that is the section. See how it highlights it orange? That's the section that we want to you know, populate. And then you would do comma, parentheses, name. This is where you type in name, and then you close it up. And then obviously it's gonna say NA because we do not have a ticker symbol. So let's just use ticker symbol Ford, so F. And then as you can see, it brings up Ford Motor Company, okay? And then everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You just, you know, plug in the numbers when it comes to, let's say shares, we have 100 shares. Okay, that's auto-populated. Average cost, let's just say we bought 100 shares of Ford at $7, okay? And then market price, you would do, let's just go up to the market price, so how it's formatted. So equals Google Finance, Google Finance, right? Oh, no, let's just type it out. Google, Google, Google Finance right here at the top. And you do, let's see, what is it? Market price, Google Finance equals B2. So it is ticker symbol, so B28. And then you do comma, parentheses, price, and parentheses close again, and then close it all up. And then you get 8.1. But as you guys can see, that is everything that you need to know about how to plug in these formulas and stuff like that. So guys, if you have any comments or questions, please comment below. You know, I'm here every single day to answer all your questions. And if you're stuck on the dividend tracker, you know, email me or comment down below. But I comment to every single comment. So that's the best way to reach me. Please, guys, like and subscribe to this video. Nice and quick one. It's not that hard. It's very, very simple. And then once, you know, you have the, all the formulas attached to each box, then every time you move over to the next thing, let's just say you have AT&T and you got the ticker symbol and then you got the shares and then the market price. You just click this little blue box right here and then drag it down to continue the formula down. So once you did one, all you have to do is drag down the blue box on this one to let's just say however many stocks you have N A N N N A and then as you can see I have O realty so let's just type in O and it'll come up you see how the formula is dragged all the way down followed through the whole entire sheet so that's all you guys need to know so I'll see you guys in the next video